The bold truth, being unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So again, what is the truth and why should we be bold about it? So let's dive into today's uh, message for today. Let's go and take a look at uh, today's uh, chapter and verse of Romans 1.16. So if you have your Bibles with you, go ahead and read along with me. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first, and for the Greek, or also known as the Gentiles. God, through His divine power and love, has given us salvation to those who believe in His Son, Jesus Christ. And believers who receive this gift, God has, lived, has given them the right to become a child of God. That's incredible. If you want to take a look at John chapter 1, verse 12 for that reference. So let that settle in your mind for a second. You know, how incredible, amazing that is to know that. That the Almighty God, the Creator of heaven and earth and mankind, He has given us a unique and an unmatchable gift than anything ever in this world. He has chosen to do this despite how evil, how wicked, and how sinful we are. But His love for us is greater than our sins and imperfections. His love for us is immeasurable. We can't even comprehend it. God wants to give us the opportunity of eternal life so we can dwell with Him in heaven for eternity. It's a long time, forever, forever with Him in His presence and glory and that we can share uh, the glory of heaven with Him. Now, this is how it came to be, through His Son, Jesus Christ, alone. God Himself came down from heaven in the flesh as a human named Jesus Christ. Jesus died for our sins so that we wouldn't suffer the consequences of sin, which is eternal death and condemnation in hell. This was a love rescue mission he chose to leave his heavenly kingdom to be like us, to dwell with us, to show us the meaning and purpose of life and our existence. That is simply, again, mind blowing. And we should be in awe of that. So we, again, we're, we're debtors to God. We are in debt to God for what he has done for us. We owe it all to him. Without God, there is no life. There is no gift of salvation. For this reason, we should be more emboldened to stand for our faith in Jesus Christ and His Word because His grace is what saved us. He continues to give us multiple chances and opportunities to come to Him in repentance and forgiveness. You know, He holds the breath of mankind in His hands. If you want to look at Job chapter 12, verse 10 for that reference. So let every breath that we have be glorifying to Him, to praise and honor God. There is no excuse to not be bold for the truth and for the gospel of Jesus Christ. He has already laid out a foundation for us. We simply have to obey and follow Him. And Jesus will do the rest. You know, cast your cares and worries upon Him and He'll, he'll take care of us. He loves us that much. His promises is our assurance and guidance in this life. You know, today we are living in current times where people are becoming reluctant to share their faith in God or stand for their faith in Jesus Christ. You know, He's already reminded us about what would we what we would face. You know, if you look at John chapter 16, verse 33 for that reference. And so through his affirmation on this, we should already be prepared or prepare for the unforeseen things. You know, in the book of Luke, the gospel, uh, Luke chapter nine, verse 26, as a, um, as a reference, you know, we have a responsibility to be unashamed, to be bold, because if not, there is a consequence for not defending our faith. So let that be encouraging and motivating to you Remember, the work of the Lord has transformed us into the image of Christ Jesus, and we have become a new creation. And if you want to take a look at Romans chapter 12, verse 2, and 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, as references on that. 
So again, how can we be silent or be embarrassed about the truth of Jesus? Look at the countless things he has done for us. So I urge you, brothers and sisters out there, let's not be ashamed. Let us speak boldly. Let us defend our faith in Christ Jesus and his word and the truth. Allow the light of Jesus Christ to shine through you so that the whole world will know the truth. So join me on the next video. Thank you. God bless and amen.